Let's make a Jumbo Bunny Rabbit Sawtooth Star Quilt Block. Welcome to another Craftcore quilting tutorial. This video will teach you how to make an oversized Sawtooth Star Quilt Block featuring an applique bunny. I'll include a link to the bunny template in the description, which is free to download and use on your personal sewing projects. After we make the block, I'll show you how to make a baby quilt using this block. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more crafting and sewing videos. The Sawtooth Star is a traditional quilt block that's easy to assemble with half square triangle units. It's composed of three different elements, one large central square, four corner squares, and eight half square triangle units. For a super cute baby quilt that sews together quickly, I thought that putting an applique bunny rabbit in the central square would add some cuteness to this traditional block. I also feel that making traditional quilt blocks at a larger size makes them feel fresher and lighter. The finished size of each of these blocks is going to be 16 inches, and the unfinished size will be 16 and a half inches. All seams will be one quarter inch. Step one, cut out your fabric. For each block you want to make, you'll need to cut out the following. One eight and a half inch square from the background print, and four four and a half inch squares from the background print four four and seven eight inch squares from the background print, four four and seven eight inch squares from the focal print. You'll also need one scrap of fabric for the bunny, which will be at least three and a half inches by six and a half inches. It must contrast with the background print. Depending on how many blocks you wanna make and if you wanna make each block a different print variation, you'll need to multiply these amounts accordingly. I made six blocks for my quilt to arrange into a two by three grid in order to make a baby size quilt for my daughter. Step two, assemble the HST units. Let's assemble the four and seven eight inch squares first into HST units. Pair up the focal squares with the background squares and layer each pair right sides together. Draw a line on an angle from corner to corner, then sew a quarter inch seam away from each side of the line. Repeat until all four pairs are sewn. Cut along the line, then press the seams open. You'll now have eight half square triangle units. If you need more guidance on this process, I have a full video all about half square triangle units on my channel that I'll link in the description. Step three, applique the bunny. Next, cut out the bunny template. Apply a double-sided fusible web to the wrong side of your bunny fabric and apply it to the center of your eight and a half inch square, following the manufacturer's instruction. If you're using Steam Seam 2 Lite, I have a separate video on my channel that goes through this process in depth. Once the bunny is stuck to the fabric, you can use your sewing machine to carefully stitch the bunny on. Step four, assemble the blocks. Take a pair of HST units and sew them so the two background fabrics are butted up against each other like this. Repeat until you have four pairs. Take two of the pairs and sew the four and a half inch focal squares to each end. You'll end up with rows like this.
Now you have two short rows and two long rows. Press all the seams towards the left. Take your central block and sew the two short rows along each side, making sure that the background print is aligned like this. For these seams, I press them all towards the right. This is so that when we assemble the rows, the seams will nest in opposite directions. Now you have three rows. Sew these rows together, press, and you're done. Repeat this process for as many blocks as you need for your project. If you'd like to assemble it into the quilt layout that I use for my baby quilt, keep on watching. The final size of the quilt will be 39.5 by 58 inches. How to assemble the Sawtooth Star Bunny Baby Quilt. This baby quilt is made out of six Sawtooth Star blocks with sashing around each block. For the cornerstones, I fussy cut bunny faces from one of my print fabrics, but you don't need to do this if you don't want to. You'll need six Sawtooth blocks, You'll need 12 3 inch squares, and you'll need 17 3 by 16 and a half inch rectangles. Once you have these pieces prepared, it's time to assemble these pieces into rows. As with the rest of this tutorial, all seams will continue to be 1 quarter inch. Row A. First, sew together four sets of rows that are these elements assembled in this order. Cornerstone, rectangle, cornerstone, rectangle, cornerstone. Press all the seams to the left. Row B. Then, create three sets of rows that are these elements assembled in this order. Rectangle, sawtooth block, rectangle, sawtooth block, rectangle. Press all the seams to the right. Now, sew all these rows together, alternating between row A and row B. Be sure to nest the seams where seams will intersect. When you're done, all that's left is to sandwich your new quilt top on some batting and backing fabric to quilt and bind as desired. Happy sewing! Hey guys, so this is Angela from Craftcore. I'm just finishing up the video edit today. And I noticed that when I was playing back my footage that I didn't really go into very much detail on how to actually put the quilt together. I just kind of glossed over it. Um, I kind of ran with the assumption that if you're watching this video, you already know the basics of how to assemble a quilt. If this isn't the case, I do have some tutorials on my channel already, including one on how to attach the binding. One thing that I don't have on my channel yet is a tutorial that shows you from start to finish how to make a quilt. So that's including the cutting, the piecing, the quilting and sandwiching and binding all in one. If this is something that you'd be interested in, please let me know in the comments. I think it's something that's missing from our channel that would be really helpful for you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. See you next time. Thanks for watching this craft core sewing video. Let me know what you think in the comments, like the video, and please subscribe if you haven't already for more crafting and sewing videos. This is Craftcore signing off. See you next time.